Hi everyone, I'm Tanguy, Product Manager at Skylabs, and I'm very glad to welcome you in this first episode of the new season of Skylabs Academy about space division multiplexing. In recent years, the internet has become the main tool for communication, entertainment, work and information. As its use becomes more and more widespread and common, the flow of data around the world is increasing. I would like to start this season with a bit of history about fiber optic telecommunications. Initially, the transfer of digital data was carried out by electrical cables. However, their capacity in terms of throughput became insufficient because of their defect to attenuate very quickly the signal with the distance. The transmission speed of coaxial cable is around 10 megabit per second on favorable Android meters, and we will see in this season that the transmission speed of the fiber optics is much more significant. The invention of the laser in the 1960s brought us into the world of fiber optics. In 1966, the future Nobel Prize winners, Charles Cao and George Hockman, realized the first data transmission with an optical fiber. Two years earlier, they had described a system of long distance and low low communication by taking advantage of the use of lasers and optical fiber. An optical fiber is a wire, a very thin waveguide made of glass or plastic that has the property of conducting light and therefore information. Since the 1970s, fiber optics has become the main medium for telecommunication networks between continents, countries, cities or data centers thanks to its high bandwidth. Today it's even installed directly in homes to meet the demand for high bandwidth from individuals. 99.8% of intercontinental internet traffic transits through 366 submarine fiber optical cables. To be able to carry more data streams to meet the needs of users, infrastructures have had to adapt. The choice is difficult to install many networks as close to the consumer as possible, or the more logical and less costly choice increase the network speed to minimize the number of installations. The problem has been to find innovative way and new equipment that can transmit more throughput in a single fiber. This flow has increased by an average of 10 times every four years. In 1983, the arrival of a new generation of fibers, called single-mode fiber, allowed signal propagation over a longer distance. In the 1990s, the increase in throughput in an optical fiber has made possible by the advent of airborne dop fiber amplifiers, which allow signals to be sent over greater distance, coupled with the development of wavelength division multiplexing. The principle is to transmit several channels of different wavelengths in an optical fiber. The throughput is then multiplied proportionally by the number of channels transmitted. To further increase the bandwidth, all the wavelength bands have been used. The L band from 1560 nm to 1610 nanometers extends the historically used C band, 1530 to 1560 nanometers. Polarization multiplexing also emerged with the possibility of doubling the throughput in optical fibers, one stream per polarization state. At the same time, the search for more efficient modulation formats has also led to an increase in fiber optic throughput. In the 2000s, the emergence of current detection allowed for the efficient implementation for both techniques. This type of system can be found in submarine links for very high data rates. Unfortunately, in 2010, analysis of several scenarios showed that current techniques no longer allow a significant increase in throughput in a single optical fiber due to the existence of a physical limit called the nonlinear Shannon limit. It corresponds to the maximum of mutual information that can be transmitted through the channel. Increasing fiber throughput therefore requires the development of new ways of transporting information more efficiently in optical fiber. Space division multiplexing is one such technique. It consists of exploiting the spatial dimension of the light inside a multimode fiber. But this is a subject of a future episode in which we will describe what space division multiplexing is. So thank you for listening and see you soon for the next episode.